Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today. It's gonna be Krillin, a bot I've never cast before, taking on MuleBot. And oh boy, uh, I'm already seeing an advantage for one of these bots as it seems Krillin is not utilizing speed mining from what I can tell. And so this Zerg bot playing at a bit of a disadvantage, not necessarily caught up in the bot meta per se. And But let's see how this one goes. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to go ahead and click that like button on this video if you haven't already. Join the Discord. Leave a comment down below saying more bots if you want to see more of these bot games. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. This channel is the home pretty much for regular bot games. Now let's take a look here. We have got three racks going on up for MuleBot and an early spawning pool for Krillin. So we're going to see how these two bots clash here as there is, yeah, already Ling's on the way. A spawning pool first can kind of be a counter to this rack, to these early racks cheeses, but it's bot, so you never really know how things are going to work out. And then Mule Bot with the speed mining is also just going to be able to make a lot more stuff than Krillin early on, so it is kind of at a disadvantage. Like, it's almost scary how fast a Terran can get up this many racks that we're seeing from Mule Bot. And. MuleBot then going to have to deal with the Zerglings on its side of the map. Four Lings running across with more and more seemingly just being trickled on out. A Queen is going to pop. So Krillin injecting that right away. Still mining a little bit of gas, weirdly enough. I'm not sure what that's for. But either way, Lings are now crossing the map. And MuleBot's cheese has kind of been out-cheesed a little bit here. As we see Lings crossing the map. Now going to start killing off SCVs potentially. The SCVs are trained to fight though. They do have their black belt, and they're actually taking a really good fight against these Lings, so that is darn good for MuleBot. It's not going to repair up the injured SCVs, as more and more of these Lings are crossing the map, whilst MuleBot is actually just going to be uh, built, pooling up a really high number of Marines before going. It wasn't prompted to attack or to defend by this, really, as SCVs are just heading on home, so it's, I don't know how many Marines it's going to get out before it just charges on in. Either way, I don't think Krillin's going to have the units to defend against such an attack. A few SCVs have perished now as they're getting softened up and injured as more and more Lings just come on in here attacking poor workers as, yeah, we're starting to see the SCV numbers are going down quite rapidly. Ling speed is done, so more and more Lings are trickling across the map. Looks like MuleBot's production has really been stalled out. It's now going to pull the trigger on this attack, though all the SCVs are uh, in, in hot water here on the other side of the map as more and more Lings are coming on in. We could be entering a bit of a base trade situation right now. There's another hatchery on the way for Krillin. That's actually really good in this situation, seeing as how it could be a bit of a base trade. Looks like Krillin is actually just running for the hills as all the drones are pulled into the fray. They are buying time. They kill off a single Marine. Beautiful machine split there by MuleBot. The one queen she cannot stand. Ten more Lings are being produced, and that is going to be it for Krillin. I don't think MuleBot's got the behavior to lift the burning command center, though. Oh, no, it actually does. So MuleBot is safe here, I think. The fact that it lifted this off is big. And then, of course, silly me, forgetting about all these racks, too. It's not just the main base that has to be killed. All these racks got to be taken out. So I think we are going to see a definite W for MuleBot. As I say that, though, these Broodlings killed off a decent number of the Marines. And there is going to be another hatchery building. Oh my gosh, who's going to win this game? I think MuleBot has got this. Like, the fact that the Marines are hugging the hatchery is actually really bad when they kill this off, though. Uh, as it lets the Broodlings just get right on top of them as they pop out the Marines and trying to micro against these Broodlings. They kill off a decent number of the Marines, but not enough. There is still some Lings out here for Krillin, but it's just four. And it's going to need at least one, even if all these Marines get killed, to kill the burning buildings. So I think we are seeing a definite W here for MuleBot. It was a close one. And uh, I think you guys can probably tell by the length of this game that we are going to be... Oh my gosh, it's so close. Two Marines are left, that's all. I think you can tell by the length of this game that this is going to be a multi-match video. 
Uh, yeah, so those Marines will end up taking that out. We even get a replay desync at the end there for whatever reason, but Mulebot takes it with the crazy... Okie dokie, so here we are into the next match. Uh, it's going to be another cheesy one, presumably, since I am doing these shorter bot replays. We have got Phobos, the sort of all-in king with big pushes, going up against evil Zoe, uh, the sort of Ling run-by machine. We're going to see which one of these two comes out ahead or not. As, uh, yeah, both of these bots do have speed mining enabled, unlike poor Krillin there. Who knows? Maybe Krillin would have won that game or got a significant, significantly better odds if it did have speed mining. Uh, that seemed to be a pretty good counter to the strategy of Mulebot. And so, yeah, I, I genuinely think if that bot had speed mining enabled, maybe it would have got out that extra hatchery sooner, been able to make more lings, that kind of thing. Either way. Seems like a very simple but cool to watch bot, so maybe we'll see more Krillin games in the future. And then this match, Phobos, just going to be getting out a Rex. All the while, Evil Zoe just going for a hatchery spawning pool. Nothing out of the ordinary, as both these bots will have the money to expand. Presumably Phobos just going to go for a Reaper expand. And this is the thing that I think is kind of funny in these bot games. It's how the timings are different because of the speed mining. Like, we saw Phobos have 500 minerals for a second there. And so, traditionally, it's command center after Rax, whereas I think with the speed mining, it could be command center during Rax. I wonder if uh, that is a tweak one of these bot authors could make to potentially get that CC up a little bit faster. Of course, that might mean, like, a slight delay on the orbital or something. I am curious if that is something the bot authors could uh, could do with the extra minerals from the speed mining. We've got multiple queens on the way now for Evil Zoe. Going to have to deal with this Reaper. However, I believe this Reaper is strictly for scouting and not necessarily for being aggressive, unlike some of the other Terran bots. Third base is going to be going up for Evil Zoe. And the factory is... On the way now for Phobos, so it can potentially make Hellions or something like that. Looks like the drone cat is a bit of a coward and doesn't build the hatchery. I guess uh, Evil Zoe maybe saw the Reaper, which is actually harassing for Phobos. Must be another Terran bot that I'm thinking of that doesn't actually harass with the Reaper. Uh, so that actually did delay the hatchery a little bit as it scared Evil Zoe into making a few more lings. So... Just that presence of that Reaper already altered this bot's behavior, it seems. This is a lot of lings out for Evil Zoe very early on. So once speed is done, there's potentially going to be some aggression coming out. The Reaper is going to start tossing a grenade at these lings, potentially kill off a couple. So far it has killed off one Zergling. And these lings are chasing it down. But yeah, Evil Zoe is going to be getting aggressive here. Off the back of this three hatchery, it's at 22 drones and is just making lings. And we're going to see how well that's going to go against a Terran bot that doesn't have a full wall necessarily, but does have Hellions out. Hellions are traditionally all you need as a Terran to defend against a ling flood. But then again, it depends on the micro and the scouting and just the will to react. The lack of wall is going to be really problematic here, I think, for Phobos. The Hellions are starting to kite against these lings. They're on the low ground. Two more did just pop out, though, and unlike a human Terran defending this, these Hellions can be microed on multiple fronts, but we're not really seeing it be effective enough, so Evil Zoe is getting off some nice damage down on this natural. Gonna burn this CC down, potentially. We'll see if it dies or lifts off. It's gonna need to cancel that worker, and it's not canceling that S canceling the SCV so it can lift off the command center and Phobos with some bad micro kind of just dives right into these Zerglings so uh, bad padding there there is at least one Hellion in the back getting some big roasting done uh, there's only one Hellion left though Phobos not making any more units Evil Zoe just flooding on in the lings the lack of a full wall here is really problematic a medivac is out that can heal this marauder for days but it is just a Marauder. A couple of SCVs, though, coming in to help out. The Marauder will be surrounded, though. The Medivac is eventually going to run out of energy, too. And I think we're witnessing a dead Terran 
And even bots have a hard time sometimes knowing the lesson, it seems, always wall off against a Zerg. And yeah, I think we are seeing the reason why this is a shorter match. Evil Zoe with a basic Ling Flood able to get the kill off. I'm not sure why Phobos didn't wall off there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess just, uh, just an oversight there perhaps, but regardless, the uh, Hellions are a good choice against this build, but the uh, Micro wasn't perfect there as far as kiting the Lings goes. Once again, it's not an easy thing to program at all. Evil Zoe will take this one, so that's going to allow us to load on into our next match. Alrighty, here we are into yet another match. It's going to be a TVT between two great Terran bots. It's going to be Micro Machine taking on Veteran. Uh, Veteran Revived, a bot that was picked up by another author after another bot author retired and posted their bot as open source. So it's cool to see a project being kept alive by the community. And yeah, Veteran is a pretty darn great Terran bot. It does seem the odds are against it though, as Micro Machine likes to flex, saying, uh, I've won 90% of our encounters. However, that does mean Veteran wins one out of every 10 games between these two. And maybe this will be one of those 10. We do have a bit of a cheeky proxy going down for Veteran. A single Rax, but another SCV crossing the map, so probably going to be a multi-Rax proxy. Splitting those up, and we'll see how well Micro Machine can dance, potentially against mass Reapers of its opponent. Veteran got the double gas going up behind this. Micro Machine is presumably going to make a Reaper. I think it always makes a Reaper. And then still just got to wait a little bit so it can get up its gas before it's able to start up a factory. And a factory is a very important tool when it comes to dealing with these proxies. It is difficult to deal with double Reaper proxy unless you scout it out. We're seeing Micro Machine not scout out this match either. So it could be in a little bit of trouble. We'll see how well it micros this. I mean, these Reapers are going to be set on a collision course, as I think this one may jump down that cliff and run right into this Rax. Veteran behind this, still mining away, potentially going to get up its own factory soon enough. But for now, the Reaper shenanigans have started. Micro Machines Reaper does run into this Rax. It doesn't seemingly react to that at all. And all of a sudden, in comes the first Reaper for Veteran. Going to start trying to kill off some of these SCVs. No success getting a kill just yet. It hasn't really delayed the factory too much either. We've got the Reaper of Micro Machine going on the other side of the map now, so both of these bots and their worker defense going to be tested as Veteran has kind of delayed getting out another one of its Reapers on this side of the map. Now two of them are grouping up. Double the firepower, double the fun here. We even see Veteran making a Marine. I guess it had a bit of a gas shortage while it was squeezing out its factory. SCVs are still microing against this and it's yet to resume building of the factory. That's problematic. Whereas the factory of Micro Machine is done and that's going to be critical for the defense. The Marine of Veteran did perish during this and so while the Reapers are still getting some work done, uh, Veteran's having a really tough time. It is trying to resume building that factory, but then the units keep getting shot, so the delay is big by Micro Machine. More and more Reapers are coming up here, though. That Hellion's still alive, but Marines are getting picked off. The mining of Micro Machine is really being disrupted. The Marine gets targeted down there, so the only unit left is that single Hellion. SCVs are getting a kill with the Hellion support on one of those Reapers. Veteran isn't making any more Reapers as well. It seems to just be programmed to make four as I think we've seen in other matches. So it's actually kind of limiting itself and the overall damage potential of this cheese. Meanwhile, on its side of the map, it is still being harassed by this Reaper, which is only at three kills, which is a big testament to the micro of Veteran with its SCVs. These Reapers are still microing. They do kill off some more workers and the Hellions having a tough time. Micro Machines SCVs are all in the red, by the way, with this sort of injured SCV retreat strategy. The Hellion could fight against these Reapers if they all pulled together, but one of those things, Micro Machine is just doing the best it can, and its mining has been disrupted for a really long time now. 
I mean, there's a Reaper out for Micro Machine, but it's being a little bit too passive for this defense. The Hellion is absolutely being too passive. All the SCVs are now one-shottable by veterans, so these three SCVs, I think, are getting the work done. And I think we may actually be seeing a game that is the 1 out of 10 for veteran as on its side of the map. It has dealt with that Reaper, so it's mining freely, whereas Micro Machine is down to zero workers, and I think is just uh, not a dead nerd, but a dead, dead nerd's bot. A bot's dead nerd? A nerd's dead bot, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it looks like Micro Machine is kind of forcing these Reapers and Hellions back. It's got one mule mining, but that is not enough to come back from a 24 worker disadvantage. So I think it's just a matter of waiting for Veteran to close this one out. Yeah, one of the last Reapers goes down, the other is out on the map and will go down. The one injured Hellion is not up to the task as that is gonna be that 4-4 Micro Machine. Uh, well done to Veteran for the cheeky cheese strategy. A lot of chaos in these bot games with Reapers on the other side of the map. Veteran just lands its racks in the middle of the map as well. Then just powers up and is now going for the kill. It will take a bit of time before it can kill off all these buildings. But uh, that is going to be that. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's the end of this bot match. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. If you watched all the way to the end, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. And consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support the channel. There's uh, the new icons up there and various perks you can get. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.